up, guys? I'm MC Sam. I'm This Is Aces, and we're with Flood Society. How did you get into the music industry, and like, who inspired you? Um, it started off, we started making music when probably around, I was 16, he was 17. Um, we started making music at like a boys and girls club at the time, like recording ourselves, learning how to produce and mix. And we kind of just, it was a hobby in the beginning. And then we got just progressively better and meeting different connects. And by the time we were probably 18, we signed our first independent deal. And then that just kind of opened the doors one after another to bigger deals, to better producers. And then um, shortly after that, we landed some deals with some producers in Cali and went out and just made a couple albums and just one thing led to another. So how do you guys like prepare for your shoes? Because they're kind of complex, like more complex than the stuff that I do. For sure, for sure. I think uh, I'd say the best advice is just the preparation on location and then being able to work with a good film guy. Like if, if you know, it makes you have to worry about less stuff. If he knows camera and lighting, you know, s sets, all that type of stuff. And then you focus on, you know, preparing for whether it's wardrobe, location, you know, making sure your lyrics are down or, you know, anything that you visually want to see and then be able to put it in like you know describe it enough where he can capture it the way that you have in your head and just make it all really just boom just awesome i think what's important about that is being actually prepared so having a plan coming up with a plan doing your homework thinking about in advance the things you want to do where you want to shoot at how you want to be but i think it's also very important to have the ability to adapt because you can plan it out, but it's not always going to go the way you want it to. But having the ability to just be quick, creative and quick on your feet will allow it to keep moving. And sometimes it's not always going to be super organized, but you can still get the end result if, as long as you keep it moving. How does like the music industry, I guess, personally impact you? Like, Has it helped you in life, would you say? Uh, definitely. I think it's kind of like there's like it's like a 50-50. It's like love-hate. It's like... Um, there, the positive impact is is teaching you like a very very hardcore grind. It's um, once you start actually you know getting into um, you know quote unquote industry circles, um, it requires a higher work ethic and a demand and and stuff that you may have not been prepared for or even known about. So it definitely pushes you like to the limit for sure. With technology and you know the internet, you can really you don't have to listen to anybody. Um, or follow a, a, a industry, you know, formula or format. So, and you're able to take the good and the bad from it. So it impacts me by seeing the things. I'm like, okay, these guys are busting their butt. They're working hard. They don't stop. They're always putting out content. Every time you think they take a break, they don't. So it pushes you. It kind of sets the ground for like what your work ethic should be. And I think that's really good to keep you motivated because it allows you to know like if you want to succeed, it doesn't matter if it's music or anything. But if you want to succeed, you can't let up. You can't quit. So you have to go, go, go. And when you get tired. You have to figure out why you started initially so you can keep moving forward. Um, and then kind of to like wrap it all up, um, I was wondering if you guys have any like advice for people who are trying to start in this industry. Um, th the best I've, advice I could give to any, and this doesn't even necessarily have to apply to musicians or, or you know, it could be any sort of art or, or craft. Um, do it yourself. Um, the technology is available. Um, things are relatively cheap today because there's so much of it, resources available. Um, do it on your own. Don't listen to anybody. Don't let people tell you that you need this or you need that or, you know, even some schooling, um, which is helpful, but you don't necessarily need to be involved in, in these quote unquote templates of, of, you know, bigger business or whatever. The best advice I could give someone is to actually start. So when you have these ideas, doesn't matter what it is, you're not going to have all the answers going forward, but just start and you'll figure it out because when you run into a roadblock and you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to overcome it, it's going to force you to look into getting the answer. And this is what you're going to learn along the way. So if you just get into it, you approach it, surround yourself with like-minded people that are resourceful, that are really looking to find something to help you move forward. It doesn't matter if you fail along the way because then from those failures, you're going to create learning opportunities and that's going to allow you to keep progressing. And as long as you keep that drive and tenacity there that got you started, it's going to keep moving you forward. You want me to bust a rap? I don't know. They don't want to see me gripping the mic and murder the scene with the limited ammunition I bring. I'm going to hit him with every single syllable that I scream. If you want to live a minute, then get up out of the ring. Give it a crown, make a bow. You're the before the king. Bring it a flame, night in the rain, spraying in a thing like a pistol talk. I'm meant to be popping at you with shots and we shocking everything. Walking that'll be knocking my name because I'm down for this. Rounds that I spit, sounds that I get. Drown when I rip clowns of the biz. Give me the mic. 
and I'ma show you that I'm wound up a bit Cause my lyrics is loaded, leveling towns in the bits About to hit him with everything that I pound in a clip Every rapper that wanna get it is down in a pit Leaving them laying open and praying that I won't be saying Everybody gonna be dead, it's down with the ship What the hell?